are certain places in the world that are just such an incredible destination that I love to go to them whether I'm hunting or not. And New Zealand is one of those places. Now, a couple of years ago, I had the privilege to go there on an archery hunt and just had a wonderful time. Got an absolutely giant stag and I couldn't wait to go back. Now on this trip, I'm going back to the North Island of New Zealand once again, but this time I'm bringing some of my friends from Field and Stream stores. Now these guys have never been there before, and it was on both of their lists to go to New Zealand and enjoy everything they have to offer. We're just excited to uh, experience this sort of hunt. It's something completely different than Pennsylvania. I honestly, I didn't know what to expect when I came down here. I thought it you know, would be rolling hills, easy hiking, but honestly coming down here, I think it definitely kicked my butt. When most people go to New Zealand, well, they're thinking of red stag because that is what they're known for. And on this trip, we were going to be coming in just before the roar really got going. We have heard them in the distance. We saw some up close. It's starting to take off. And as the cooler in the mornings get and the cooler the evenings get, the louder the, the roar. And it's something that, that I've never heard before. I mean, it. It almost sounds like a dinosaur. It, it just it is something spectacular to hear and, and, and added to the adventure. It is pretty incredible to be out there in that bright morning sun and hear those stags roar. It really does make the hair on the back of your neck stand up. <laughs> 